We're not aware yet of any breakthrough to try to, uh, uh, try to break this stalemate yet, but it is an extremely important uh, set of negotiations. It's the first time, really, that the uh, government has met formally with the protesters. It's the Deputy Prime Minister, Bulend Arinj, who many of these protesters this morning have said to me is the good, ca the good cop to the Prime Minister's bad cop. Uh, and the protesters have issued uh, a list of, ne of demands that they want met. They want uh, the Gezi Park, uh, the focus of those initial protests, to remain as a park. They want to halt the development project there. Uh, they want those responsible for the excessive violence, including the Istanbul governor, to resign. Uh, they want tear gas to be banned, uh, the protesters arrested to be released, and they want the ban on protests lifted. We'll have to see whether their demands are met in this all-important meeting this morning. If I just ask the uh, camera to pan across uh, Githa to the main square here, Taksim Square, you can see uh, the protests gathering pace once again. Those in the white with the white banners are one of the trade union federal uh, which has now joined this day of protests. Uh, that is the second trade union federation to take part in the protests in solidarity with the demonstrations. So you can see that this social unrest is far from abating. We'll have to see just how it moves on from here. And uh, what about the, uh, the different groups who are now on the streets? Is there any coordination between them? Because it seems there's a lot of different agendas playing out here. A lot of different agendas, and in a sense, that is their weakness and their strength. It is their weakness because perhaps they lack cohesion, they lack a kind of common goal. Uh, but it's also their strength, Geetha, because I think it, it almost shows the government just how strong this opposition movement is. Uh, when I was down in the square this morning, I met a whole range of people, young and old, 16-year-olds, 50-year-olds, middle class, uh, leftists, uh, gay rights groups. This shows the kind of breadth of opposition that there is to the government. Uh, they want uh, the government to stop the kind of authoritarian rule. They want a freer democracy, freer speech. Uh, they want a whole set of demands. But uh, s clearly, I think that, that that breadth of opposition shows that it's difficult to pigeonhole them. And it shows really that while the Prime Minister uh, dis has dismissed them as extremists, as pillagers and looters, really uh, they are representing a huge swathe of society here and they will not be silenced, at least not for the time being.